what are the odds that Belichick, Vrabel, and Pete Carroll don't have jobs next season? Well, Pete Carroll currently has gotten no sniffs anywhere. I'd heard earlier in the week he was trying to make a push behind the scenes to get the Chargers interested. Too late for that with them hiring Jim Harbaugh. It looks like both Belichick and Vrabel are going to be shut out. Now, I think Vrabel's got a chance in Seattle. A chance. Dan Quinn has been the name we've been hearing for the past couple of weeks. That's a hard sell after giving up 48 points to the Packers in the wild card round at home. That's a tough sell to the fan base to bring Dan Quinn back now. Vrabel's a little easier to sell. How does Vrabel get along with John Schneider now that John Schneider, the GM, is fully in charge of everything? And that is the bigger problem, I think, with Belichick. Peter King and I talked about this today on PFT Live. How do you put guardrails on Belichick at this point in his life? How do you make him the head coach and say, you're just going to be the head coach. You're not going to run the show. And he says, fine. And then he shows up and he starts making those faces and grunts and harumps when the general manager says, here's who I want to draft. What are you going to do then? Are you going to give in to Belichick? And then if you don't, is he just going to put that guy at the bottom of the bench and say, I'm just not going to play him? I didn't want him. So I don't think there's a team that trusts the ability of Belichick to work in a structure where he's not fully in charge because he spent the last two decades fully in charge of the Patriots. How do you go back from that? I think that's why. Only one team talked to him, and no team is going to hire him. Yeah, but if the bottom line is winning, do you does does it matter how you get there? I mean, if Belichick comes in and helps you and makes you a better team, then what would the holdup be? I agree with you. You find a way to work with a great coach. The problem is you have people who have jobs, who want to keep those jobs, <laughs> who don't want to be marginalized by Bill Belichick working against you. I think the whole Rich McKay dynamic in Atlanta is one of the big reasons why Arthur Blank was talked out of Bill Belichick. I'm told that Arthur Blank went into the hiring process wanting Belichick, but Belichick presumably told Arthur Blank in their initial meeting one-on-one, -on -one, now, we don't know this, but this is just common sense and circumstantial evidence. I don't want Rich McKay having anything to do with football operations. Get him out of here. I don't want to deal with him. I don't want to have to answer to him. I don't want to have to talk to him. I want to run the football team. You got to be willing to let Belichick run the football team. Otherwise, there's going to be people in the building who feel marginalized and irrelevant and, you know, just dysfunctional mm. with Belichick. That's the problem. Anything short of saying... Here's the keys. Drive the car wherever you want. It's going to be hard to pull off. If you were going to bet where Belichick is, let's say, in the next two years. I think he's going to end up in TV this year. Remember how great he was on the NFL's 100 all-time team with Rich Eisen and Chris Collinsworth? I could see him joining NFL Network, working there for a year, and then see what happens in the 2025 hiring hmm. cycle. Now, downside... He's a year older, and we know that age can be a thing in the NFL. He's going to be deeper into his 70s by next year. But maybe he needs to show and prove to people that he's kind of humbled himself a little bit. Unless somebody is willing to say, here's the keys, go wherever you want to go with the car. If he has to prove that he's humbled himself, maybe he will a year from now and somebody will say, let's do it. The other reality too is owners will have a whole year to think about this idea of pursuing Belichick the next cycle. Instead of just having it fall out of the sky in January, they got a whole year to think about.